Happy Navratri. Navratri is a nine day festival in which nine forms of Goddess Durga are worshipped. It is one of the most significant festivals celebrated by Hindus all across India. This festival falls in the lunar month of Ashwin during Sharad Ritu. The 10 days and 9 night festival which is dedicated to Goddess Durga and all her nine forms. The festival is celebrated to remember Ma Durga's win over the demon Mahishasura and represents the victory of peace and dharma over ego and evil. Do you know what are those nine avatars of Ma Durga? Let's see all nine forms. Goddess Shalputri the first day of Navratri is dedicated to Goddess Shalputri. Shalputri is the daughter of the mountain king Himavat and representing herself as the pure form of Goddess Parvati. She is the first Navdurga venerated during the first day of Navratri and is a reincarnation of Goddess Sati. Goddess Shalputri is depicted with two hands and has a crescent moon on her forehead. She holds a trident in her right hand and a lotus flower in the left. She rides on the Mount Nandi, the bull. In the Sanskrit language, Shal means mountain and Putri means daughter. Goddess Shal Putri, the absolute form of Mother Nature. Goddess Brahmacharini. The second day of Navratri is dedicated to Goddess Brahmacharini. The goddess walks bare feet with a Rudraksh mala in one hand and a sacred Kamandalu in the other. The meditative form of this goddess symbolizes goddess Parvati when she engaged in her deep meditation to please Lord Shiva. Brahmacharini is worshipped for liberation or moksha and endowment of peace and prosperity. Goddess Chandraghanta the third day of Navratri is of Goddess Chandraghanta. She is a fierce ten armed goddess with a crescent moon on her forehead, which gives her the name Chandraghanta. She is also known as Chandrakhanda, Chandika, or Ranchandi. She rides on a tiger to destroy all evil and wicked. She is believed to reward people with her grace, bravery, and courage. By her grace, all the sins, distresses, physical sufferings, and mental tribulations of the devotees are eradicated. Goddess Kushmanda Chaturthi or the fourth day of Navratri is of Devi Kushmanda. The name Kushmanda is derived from three words. Who means a little, Ushma means warmth or energy and Anda means cosmic egg, which means the creator of the universe. Goddess Kushmanda has eight hands. She is believed to improve health and bestow wealth and strength. Kushmanda associated to the endowment of vegetation on earth. Goddess Skandmata On the fifth day we worship Goddess Skandmata. Her name comes from Skanda. She is the mother of Skanda or Kartike. Skandmata is a four-armed deity who carries a lotus in two of her arms with a sacred kamandlu and a bell in the other two. She also carries a little kartike on her lap. Goddess Katyayani The sixth day of Navratri is dedicated to Goddess Katyayani, who is a form of Shakti. Also known as the warrior goddess, Katyayani is considered as one of the most violent forms of Goddess Parvati. She has four arms and carrying a sword. She is the daughter of sage Katyayan and rides on a lion. Goddess Kalratri Saptami or the seventh day of Navratri is dedicated to Goddess Kalratri. She is considered to be the most ferocious form of Goddess Durga. It is believed that Parvati removed her fair skin to kill the demons Shumbha and Nishumbha. She is a four-armed deity who rides a donkey, carries a sword, a trident, and a noose. We also call her as Makali. Goddess Mahagori Durga Ashtami or the eighth day of Navratri is dedicated to Goddess Mahagori. Mahagori symbolizes intelligence and peace. 
According to Hinduism, Mahagauri has the power to fulfill all the desires of her devotees. The one who worships the goddess gets relief from all the sufferings in life. She is a four-armed deity who rides on a bull. Goddess Siddhidatri The ninth or the final day of Navratri is of Goddess Siddhidatri. Siddhi means supernatural power or meditative ability and Dhatri means giver or rewarder. She is projected as a four-armed deity sitting on a lotus, discus and a book and lotus in her hands. This form of goddess Durga signifies perfection. She fulfills all the divine aspirations. It is believed that one side of Lord Shiva's body is that of goddess Siddhidatri. Therefore, he is also known by the name of Adhanarishvara. The ninth day is also Ayudha Puja festival, where weapons and tools are worshipped. Tenth day is Dashmi. It's also called Vijaya Dashmi or Dasera celebrating the victory of good over evil. In some parts of India, Dashera is associated with the victory of the god Rama over the demon king Ravana. As per Mahabharata end of exile of the Pandvas. On this day, the Pandvas completed their 13 years of exile and came about to claim their rightful kingdoms. The nine day celebrations also involve lots of dancing, like Garba and Dandiya Ras. And apart from this, in some parts, a great procession is held on the 10th day of Navratri, also known as Vijaya Dashmi. Mysore Dashera is famous procession in Karnataka. Vijaya Dashmi also marks the end of Durga Puja. This Dashera, may you and your family be showered with warmth, love and positivity. Have a happy Dashera.